Netgear has released the Orbi LTE Advanced Router, and we're going to take a first look at it. Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and Netgear is a manufacturer of various routers. So we you cover a lot of their mobile routers, and they also have a line of home routers, and the Orbi is one of those. And this normally isn't something that we would cover on our channel, but this one is unique in that it has LTE built in and was just released this month and is now shipping from Netgear. Now, it's got a Category 18 LTE modem in here. It is an unlocked device and it will work on all carriers. It is officially supporting AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile, and it does cover Sprint's bands as well, but they are excluding them from the official list of compatibility likely because of the merger that is in progress. But what makes it really interesting for our audience is that LTE support. Now, it's not a mobile optimized device like what we normally would cover with mobile hotspots that are battery powered and things like that. This is a home router still and is part of their mesh networking Orbi line. So this would be designed to work with other similar units so that you could cover an entire large house. For a mobile user, however, this might fit the bill if you're looking for something that is multi-carrier and has advanced LTE support built in. With that Category 18 modem, it's kind of the pinnacle of LTE. It's got the 4x4 internal MIMO antennas. It does include cellular antenna ports, but only two of them. They're SMI con SMA connectors, so you'll have to find SMA exterior antennas so you can get a better signal to this device. Just keep in mind, it has internal 4x4 MIMO antennas. So when you use the external, you're taking it to 2x2 MIMO, so you're reducing that diversity. But sometimes those extra ears on the outside can be the key to a better uh, signal in some situations. And it also has support, really ample support for local area networking. So it has dual 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It's actually got three uh, radios inside of it, and they claim with their beamforming technology inside that it can cover a house up to 2,000 square feet with just one device. So it should have really ample local networking. It also does have an Ethernet ports in the back. It's got a WAN input and a LAN input. Both are gigabit LTE speed inputs. Um, so you can bridge in other internet sources into this via Ethernet. But what is lacking in this as far as for our mobile audience? We're used to devices, if we're going with a router style device, one would also support a feature that we call Wi-Fi as WAN. And that's the ability to use another Wi-Fi network as one of your sources to the central router, like at a campground or a marina. And this does not support it. You would need something that can capture that signal and transmit it via Ethernet to use it via the WAN port in, on the device itself. And those are CPE devices, and we do cover those on the Mobile Internet Resource Center. It does not have a battery, um, and it's really not easy to bridge in other cellular devices. There's no USB tethering like we see on mobile-specific routers. So again, you would need a cellular device that can export via Ethernet so that you could use the WAN input on it. But this might be a very interesting device. It is cross-carrier compatible, so you're going to be able to use data-only SIM cards from multiple carriers in it, of course, only one at a time. The SIM slot is right on the back, so it should be really easy to change out. It does have failover, but the failover only goes one way. That is, if your local area network via the WAN input goes down, then it fails over to cellular, which is something that residential people would need. Not necessarily our audience and mobile travelers where cellular is very frequently our primary internet source. Now the device does come with a SIM card from Clearway, which is one of the track phone uh, MVNO companies, and the SIM card is a T-Mobile based SIM card through Clearway, and they have instructions to go and look for their data plans, and you can activate directly with them, starting at 10 gigabyte plans for $30 a month, up to 50 gigabyte plans for $60 a month. But you can bring your own SIM card from other carriers that are data only uh, uh, authorized for devices like this. We, this is just a first look. We did purchases directly from Netgear this week and just got it in, just unboxed it today. We're going to be doing some testing with it against other options that we have in-house and our premium members who make all of this possible 
are going to have access to what with that testing to see if this might be a suitable solution in a mobile internet arsenal. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.